Polar Bears, by Marcus Norris. Plant and animal species are continually adapting to suit their environment for a better chance of survival. Some evolutionary changes can be a behavioral change such as a more aggressive nature in an animal or a physical change such as a change in appearance. Natural selection is the process by which biological traits of an organism become either more or less common in a population. Over time this process can even result in an emergence of a new species. Evidence suggests that the first polar bears appeared approximately 7,000 years ago and are descendants of the brown bear. They have undergone a series of evolutionary changes over time to help them survive some of the harshest conditions on the planet. Some such adaptations include larger paws, thicker white fur, extra fat to keep them warm and more recently they have developed polar bear type teeth. These adaptions have occurred over time to ensure the bear's survival and in doing so has created a new subspecies, the polar bear. The polar bear is a descendant of the brown bear although the polar bear is located 1,500 kilometers away from the natural habitat of the brown bear, in the forests of North America, Asia and Europe. Scientists have discovered that the DNA of both the polar bear and the brown bear are quite similar and have created genetic models to show how the polar bear could have emerged as recently as 70,000 years ago, as fossils found in Kew Bridge in London are considered one of the oldest specimens of polar bear although recently scientists have discovered a fossilized jawbone in the Arctic Ocean thought to be at least 100,000 years old and the oldest known remains of a polar bear. The polar bear's likely evolutionary path began some 200,000 years ago when much of the Arctic Ocean and Eurasia was covered with glaciers and because of the lack of food at this time it is likely that bears from the north relocated in search of food. Many would have died from these harsh conditions however those with trays more suited to this environment were able to survive and breed. The surviving bears started to evolve to their environment. Physical changes such as longer and thicker paws made it easier for the polar bear to run, walk on the ice and to swim long distances. This evolutionary change also made it easier for the polar bear to break through snowdrifts to catch seals in the winter. The bigger paws also make it easier for the polar bear to swim as their forepaws are rounded and partly webbed acting as a good paddle for swimming and catching fish in the summer. Their claws are thick and curved useful for running and climbing on the ice and grasping their prey. Another change which has helped the polar bear to survive is longer fur and additional body fat, which is up to 11 cm thick and enables them to maintain a body temperature of 37 degrees Celsius. The advantages of these two genetic traits allow them have a better chance of surviving the cold even in temperatures of below minus 37 degrees Celsius. They are so well insulated that in warmer weather and after physical activity polar bears tend to overheat. To cool down they swim, rest and move slowly and excess body heat is released through their muzzle, nose, ears and feet where there is not as much fur. Over time the color of the polar bear's fur has changed from brown to white through natural selection. Their fur is actually hollow and colorless and reflects the light of the white arctic landscape. Their fur is also oily which helps it to be water repellent. This change has helped them to blend into the Arctic snow and makes it easier for them to hunt their prey camouflaged and therefore improve their chances of survival. Other physical features that define this species include a longer neck and head, a more slender body and longer hind limbs which has occurred through natural selection making the polar bear the largest land carnivore and significantly larger than their ancestors the brown bear. The largest male polar bear ever recorded measured 3.7 meters long and weighed 1,002 kilograms. Their longer neck and head allow them to lunge after their prey more easily and their long nose helps them to sniff out snowdrifts to catch seals lurching underneath. One of the most recent adaptions that took place approximately 10,000 years ago is the change in teeth type. The polar bear has developed polar bear type teeth. 
This change in teeth meant that the polar bear now has 42 teeth that are much longer and larger than the teeth of any other bear. Their carnassial and molars are sharper, enabling them to shear and bite seals, compared to their ancestors who have flatter and more rounded teeth for eating berries and fish. This natural selection process has allowed the bears to survive one of the harshest environments in the world making way for the survival of the next generation. Evidence of a new hybrid bear emerging states that the interbreeding of grizzly and polar bears have created a new type of bear. This crossbreeding has been increasing as more grizzly bears have been spotted in Wipusk National Park in Canada, which is the territory of the polar bear. The traits of this new hybrid bear consist of brown fur on its paws, long claws and a grizzly-like head. In conclusion polar bears have adapted perfectly to life in their environment, however they are now facing a new challenge and real threat due to the melting of the Arctic because of increasing greenhouse gases. In 2012 the summer sea ice losses within the Arctic region was greater than the size of Australia. This will force polar bears to adapt to the increasing temperature of their habitat and dramatically decrease their population. In the future I believe that the new grizzly polar bear hybrid will become more common and the traits of these two bears may help this species to survive its changing environment, as the polar bears are driven south due to the melting of the ice cap, driving the grizzly and polar bears into closer contact.